Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, everybody has a special person in their life. Do you know who that is for you? Mine's going to be my son, Mason. He's six years old, and he's the oldest of my four. Motherhood's granted me many experiences, experiences that I could never forget, <coughs> never could imagine in my wildest days. Recently, within the last month or so, Mason lost his two front teeth. Beings with that, his speech is impaired. So every night, I take him to bed, tuck him in, I read him a book, I kiss him on his forehead, and I always add my saying, I love you. Ran one random night, I walk out of the room, he says, Mom. Yes, Mason, go to bed. So wait, you forgot to kiss me on my head. Oh. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, so I walk back, I kiss him on the head. For me, kissing him on his head, or kissing him on his head, was strictly just routine. It was just random. I do it every night. I do it times four. To him, it meant the world. So Mason has allowed me to become a better person. He's allowed me to learn patience and how to uh, to give and accept unconditional love. Let's begin with patience. Patience is literally defined as the ability to tolerate delay. Motherhood and patience takes on a whole nother ballgame. And Mason would surely push out all patients to the limit. It's a Wednesday morning, ghastly hour of 7 a.m. I'm running late for work. Typical. I'm rushing to brush hair, shove lunch boxes in their book bags, just to get out the door. All the while, Mason's standing in the living room, digging in between the couch cushions, telling me he's fine as spare change. All right. <laughs> I don't want to hear about fine and spare change. I want to hear about making change. <laughs> I don't want to think about. So I try to stay calm, turn around, take a deep breath. I look at him, I say, Mason, get your shoes and your socks on. I need to go to work. I said, like, okay, mommy. So I go on, I'm ready, we go. I'm like, all right, let's go, guys. Let's get your book bag, let's walk out the door. I turn around, Mason's still digging in the couch for spare change. <laughs> I'm done. I'm overwhelmed. Steam's blowing out of me everywhere. What could I do? I laugh. I start actually laughing really hard, and I call my boss and tell him I'm going to be late. I have no other choice. So, by the way, we found 60 cents. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, I had to determine, was this a lesson? Was it just like one terrible morning? You know, I determined that it was just a lesson learned. One day, I would yearn. I would yearn for him to be there. I would yearn for him to hold me up. I would desire the noise desire the company. So all I have to do is just be blessed. Blessed that I can spend another morning, another day, another minute with him. <coughs> After patience came unconditional love. Unconditional love is like an emotion like no other. It's not defined. It's not one specific word. It's not <coughs> one specific feeling. The day Mason arrived, St. Patrick's Day, 2005, I so then felt them feelings. I felt complete. I felt powerful. It was out of this world. So Mason is the oldest of my four children. Being with that said, he's also the protector of three younger children. His one sister is blind, meaning that she needs the most protection. Um, I go to the daycare one day. I pick them up. They're out on the playground. I said, let me just stay here and watch them for a little bit. So I'm looking. I see Mason, two other kids, one being my daughter, Kylie, in the corner. Hmm, Mason looks disturbed. He looks bothered. So I hear Mason says, no, that's my sister's. At that point, I had realized a little boy pushed Kylie off her tricycle. Now Kylie, being that she's blind, a lot of this stuff doesn't mean a lot to her. So she was very content. Well, I lost my tricycle. I'll just keep on moving to the next toy that means nothing to me. <laughs> Mason, though, was determined. He was determined to defend his sister. He was determined to defend his family. And he was going to stick up for her. So he pushes the boy. And he says, no, my sister had that first. You get off of that. To me, you know, I have to be careful. I can't be like, yeah, good job, Mason, you know, push another kid off a bike, do it every day. But I was very proud of him. I was proud that he was able to show his unconditional love for his sister, which made me feel as though I had felt and taught him the way to present it. So now that you've heard my condensed tribute to my son, Mason, you can only imagine how the last six years of my life has gone. Patience was taught to me, unrehearsed, unexpectedly, a theme with unconditional love. It just comes with motherhood. You learn it, you never realize that you're learning it. It's just there, it's obvious. So I would only 
note that if you don't have children, that when you do have children, that you too could experience the patience and the unconditional love that I was taught and given from my son Mason.